All right, I'm here at the Qualcomm booth CES 2016, and robots have been a really big deal at this show. There have been keynotes about robots and AI and training this kind of hardware, and yeah, I'm standing right next to a little droid behind me who's really good at sorting objects. I, right now, I could shoot this right now because he's just taking a little rest. Sometimes you got to recharge those batteries. The show floor takes a lot out of you. But Qualcomm has been making a big push in taking the technologies they've already been leveraging in mobile, like the, uh, the CPU design, GPU, and especially the NPU designs they've been working on, and then also their experience in things like connected cars. You know, as you start kind of moving with all of these new claims for physical AI and robotic AI, companies like Qualcomm have already been really well positioned to leverage their existing technologies to move them into new places. So there's a chip in this robot. This, this robot is kind of a, something that can just be built off of any kind of standard robotics components, but the chip inside is a Qualcomm chip, and if you look at the specs, it looks a lot like a, a Snapdragon X. We've got those Orion cores, we've got tons of camera throughput, lots of camera processing, and even bigger NPUs than what goes into their consumer gear. Qualcomm is highlighting the, the practical side of this. This is the kind of robot that you can use in retail, in warehouse, you know, that kind of inventory management, this type of system would fit in really well there. It's a system that can already be deployed today, which is also really exciting for businesses and companies looking to leverage that. But it's also just fun to take that kind of compute power and make the robots dance. Who doesn't love a dancing robot. I gotta send a thank you to Qualcomm for bringing me out here, getting to see all this cool stuff, and there's gonna be more to talk about from CES 2026.